when you're putting ink into the skin, there's only three ways that you can actually put ink into the skin, right? You can either whip it, we call this a whip shade, that pendulum motion. You can stipple it, right, where you just kind of dot, 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 or you can circle it. If you're gonna do circles, and I prefer to only do circles when I'm removing, but if you're gonna do circles, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your machine and you're gonna start circling in the air, okay? And in your head, you're gonna keep track. Do you circle clockwise or counterclockwise? There's not a right or a wrong, but whichever way you tend to circle, you need to do that the entire time, okay? You don't wanna stop and change directions because you're gonna get heavy spots and snag the skin if you change directions, okay? So whichever way you circle, right? So for me, I go counterclockwise. You're gonna do that whether you're going up the brow, down the brow, side to side, whatever you're doing, those motions never change direction. Again, I like to only use circles for removing. It's a lot more of an aggressive, we call this a color packing motion, and I'll show you why here. I don't love it for shading because I feel like it gets too heavy, too saturated. Um, and if you are gonna circle for shading, I like a larger needle configuration. So instead of using your three round, grab out a five round or even an eight round, okay? But again, I don't like to do circles for shading. I'm just doing this to demonstrate what circles does. So circular motion, you're gonna go up and back and you're gonna start to move forward just like you do whip shading, but you'll see it's not as smooth and pretty, okay? You have to go over it a few more times. See, that's a circular motion. It's a lot more aggressive. It's a color packing motion. If you're using a larger needle configuration, it won't be quite so splotchy. You can do that for color correcting if you wanted or for removal. I like to do it for removal. Next, you have your whip shading, which we just talked about, right? Your pendulum. So you're gonna whip towards yourself, although your hand movement is back and forth. So you're going to whip towards yourself. Needles are only touching the skin when, when I'm pulling towards myself. Next movement you can do, and I don't really love this one. I feel like girls that aren't careful when I teach, they can go a little bit too heavy into the skin. You wanna make sure that if you are stippling, you're not shoving that needle in, you're riding it very shallow, just like you do your whip shading. Um, but stippling, if you have an area while you're shading that you're like, why will this area not get ink into the skin? You can just stipple it a little bit. So stippling is just that dot, dot, dot. And if you have a single needle on, you could do it in the bulb and it'll help you get that pixelated effect too. Um, again, I prefer, unless you have really good control of your machine, you've been doing this for a while, I prefer you do that pendulum motion. But if you have good control, you can stipple too. I'll spread them out so you can see. It's just dot, dot, dot. Just like in art class in junior high, dot, dot, dot. So three ways to get ink into the skin. Circle, whip, stipple. My favorite way, whip shading. My favorite way to remove, circling. If I have an area that's being stubborn and I can't get ink into the skin, stipple.